And honestly, I, I can't imagine what these people have gone through. I mean, many of these people have lost their loved ones and or they're unaccounted for, and I just can't imagine emotionally what, what they're going through. We're uh, just outside of uh, Kathmandu Valley in the country of Nepal, and we're exactly now one week uh, after the earthquake, and uh, Samaritan's Purse has uh, brought together a, a six-person team to respond to uh, the aftermath of the earthquake, particularly medical complications uh, from trauma. Um, a lot of orthopedic and trauma-related injuries. And we've partnered here at this incredible hospital called Anandaban Leprosy Hospital. The staff and the facility here is, they're, they're so giving and uh, they've uh, embraced us. And uh, so we're just working side by side with the Nepalese medical staff to meet especially the uh, orthopedic needs uh, of the patients. Most of the surgeries are um, crush injuries to the lower extremities, 80% are lower extremities. 20% upper extremities and you know along with that there are open fractures, closed fractures and most of the surgeries we're doing are to put rods or external fixators on there to fix those fractures and wash them out so they won't get infected and you know just take there's a little window of time you have to do that safely. We, we have an incredible uh, uh, team of orthopedic and general surgeons, again, that are working with the Napoli's doctors to meet the, these urgent medical needs. And so we're just delighted to be here. One of the things that we're doing in addition to working here at Anandaban Hospital is we're reaching out to isolated villages in the Himalayas. We're going there via helicopter uh, and undergoing reconnaissance. And I remember this one village we flew over, uh, like a vast majority of the homes were completely flattened. And when we landed there via helicopter, the, the villagers just swarmed us uh, because they're so isolated and, and now they're, they're they're without and uh, we were able to provide just simple wound care for some of those patients and and just to be able to pray for them and reach out to them but I mean these people are, are, are desperate and in need. You know, I think I'm, I'm really here to serve the people here and to, uh, to do it in a way that can sort of be the salt and light hopefully for Christ. My heart does break for the people here in Nepal. I mean there's a lot of need here. I mean, you can imagine the people have very, very little. And so um, there's, I think, just great physical need and, and spiritual need. And so um, as a Christian organization, we really um, are trying just to, to offer what we can, but also just to offer hope and just the message of Christ to these people. And so that's what we, we're praying, that we can just deliver that kind of hope and, and, and love to these people.